What's going on guys? I am so excited to be here with Abby to bring you our top five planes for beginners of 2021. And if you have ever wanted to get into the RC plane hobby, this is the list that you need to start with. Or if you know someone that wants to fly, share this list with them. We have flown more planes this year alone than any other year combined. So we have got the experience. We have probably flown hundreds of planes this year. So we're excited to get this list started off strong. We're five airplanes just for beginners in mind. Abby, what's number five? Before I share number five on our list, smash the like button. And remember, you can find everything down in the description box below if you're interested in anything we mentioned. So number five on our list, any of the Ishin Mini Warbird planes. Now they're number five because of the planes on this list, they're probably the hardest to actually fly. They're still very easy. They're still very beginner friendly. I'm very confident I could hand the controller over to just about anyone and they can have success flying it. But there is a total of four World War II Warbirds. Right, you have the Trojan, you have the Corsair, you have the P-51, and Nate, they just released a new one and I forget, tell me what it is. It's the German plane, the BF-109, and it looks and flies really, really good. They really do fly really well in that stabilized mode. Mode. When you get out of the stabilized mode, they're a little bit squirrely because they're small. But, it's, but fun. <laughs> it's fun. But it's mind blowing to see these things. They're so small and they fly so well and they could fly extremely well in a baseball field, a soccer field, tight spaces. And the best part about them is the cost. They're some of the cheapest planes on the list this year. Popeye wants to tell you that number four on the list is the Sport Cub S2 ready to fly. Now, this is basically the trainer plane version of those Ishin Warbirds made by a better company here in the United States with better customer service and better spare part availability and way faster shipping. That's pretty much it. Like this is the best small trainer plane money can buy. I mean, it's really good. Well, it's it's one of the best. And I love this plane because it is great in small spaces. Yes. If you don't have a huge airfield to fly at and you just have a park area this is going to be perfect super super fun easy to fly very forgiving when it's in safe mode it is impossible to flip it over and roll it over it flies in small light breezes really well you can fly inside in gymnasiums it's just one of the best small planes uh, like we said with really good spare part availability customer service it's all there so you can't go wrong with the sport tub s2 that's linked in the description box below and if you want to see a couple videos of us flying them we'll have those linked down there too if you want more details this sounds like it's the plane for you click it check it out and then watch some of our videos on it the third plane on our list is actually two because we could not pick one. <laughs> Me and Nate kind of argued about it. So we picked the Arrows Bigfoot Ready to Fly and the Arrows Pioneer Ready to Fly. Basically, it just depends on your budget. Well said, extremely well said. So the Pioneer is a slightly more upgraded version of the last plane on the list. It's a small park flyer, but this one has a 2S brushless system in it. So instead of brushed motors, this is the first airplane on our list with a brushless motor. The big benefit is it's gonna last longer and have higher performance. Instead of hundreds of flights out of that brushed motor, you're looking at potentially thousands, if not tens of thousands of flights believe it or not. You know, those things will last forever in comparison. The Bigfoot Ready to Fly is just a really big, awesome trainer plane. Now you're in the 3S or 11 volts, so it's more powerful, a bigger sized airplane. And if you have a larger space to fly in, you really wanna get into RC planes, really dive into the hobby uh, head first. This is a good plane to do that with. You can upgrade it with a better radio as you go, a better charger and more and better batteries. So it's like a very upgradable plane. If you think you want to progress, this is a very good first plane to progress on. And depending on when you're watching this video, there's actually a coupon code available for that plane to save $30. So hopefully that's still going on and it'll be down in the description box below. Tons of people are buying it. Let's hope it's still in stock. Number two on our list, of best beginner planes is actually not a plane. It's an EDF jet and it has been one of my favorite EDF jets to fly. It's called the E-Flight Habu STS. If planes bore you or if the look of planes bore you and you really want to get a jet but you don't know how to fly, this is where you can start with jets. 
I mean, this is your plane. This is like yes. you. All It's written all over it. And actually, they made a faster 6S version yes, of it this year. which now I've upgraded, I've upgraded to. And there is so much progression to be had there. It's like Abby's jam. Uh, I've also witnessed a lot of people learn to fly on this Habu because they don't like how normal airplanes look. Ah, a prop airplane, like a passenger airplane, that thing is just Cessna style, you know, boring to me. I want to learn to fly a jet. This is a legit EDF jet, okay? So it flies on a 3S battery or a 4S battery, so you can upgrade there. There's also the ability to buy a USB dongle that you can plug into your computer and fly with the radio that it comes with on a trainer. So you can start flying it on a trainer and then step up to fly in the real world. So the Habu is an absolutely amazing airplane that we have personally witnessed friends learn to fly on and progress in the hobby. An amazing pick. Number one on our list has probably been number one on our list for quite a few years now. So if you want to get into flying, this is the best of the best RC plane that you can buy. It is the plane that I progressed on. It's the plane that taught me the most I could have ever imagined with flight. Without further ado, number one on the list is the Aeroscout oh ready my gosh. to fly. It should be a no brainer to everybody. If you're hearing this and you're not surprised, that's a good thing. That means you know what you're talking about. If this is new to you, this is golden information i mean <laughs> knowing this piece of information you can just leave this video head held high like you know everything there is to know about rc <laughs> so the best thing about this plane is that it is so stable in the air from takeoff to flying to landing plus there's progression to be had on this plane when you take it out of safe mode my favorite thing about this plane is that it is what's called a pusher prop. The prop is mounted in the back. So if you have a nosedive crash, because let's be honest, in the RC plane hobby crashes can and will happen. The fact that the motor and the prop are mounted in the back, if you have a bad crash, it's way more forgiving and you can just get the hot glue gun out, glue your phone back together and get back in the air. Which we've done a hundred times. Super durable, plain, super easy to fly, super great to learn on. Not only have we personally flown hundreds of planes in this last year, but we have witnessed hundreds if not thousands of people learn to fly and get into the hobby and more often than not it's because of the Aero Scout. It is absolutely amazing. So there you have it. There is our top five best beginner planes of 2021. If you've ever wanted to get into the RC plane hobby this is the best list you can start with. We see a lot of people get into the hobby and I'm, I'm really proud of that. It's just one of the best hobbies out there to experience by yourself, with your family, with your loved ones. You get fresh air, it's hand-eye coordination, you might do a little repair on things. It's a very good healthy hobby and it's a good time to get into it. So with that being said, if you're new to the RC plane hobby, make sure you check out AMA or the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's basically an insurance program for you, the hobby enthusiast that's flying your plane and God forbid you crash into anybody or anything Thing. If you do and you're flying by their rules and guidelines, you will be covered. So if you're getting into the hobby for the first time ever, I highly encourage a nice stocking stuffer is AMA insurance for the entire year. You get a nice magazine subscription. You can learn a lot from that subscription too. And that will be linked in the description box below right under all these awesome airplanes if you want to learn more. For being able to share so many plane videos with you guys this year, it's been a great 2021. I want to thank the big guy upstairs. Also, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters. Guys, we couldn't do these videos without your support. We thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have one of our favorite RC plane videos of the year popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!